Hey guys, what is up? Today I'm going to show you how to create an icon to shut down your PC. Also going to show you how to create an icon to restart your PC. This will work in Windows 10 and 11. And yes, of course, you can just quickly click the start button and the power button and click restart and shut down. You absolutely can do that. So the reason I'm actually showing this, even though it's such a simple task to shut down and restart, a couple reasons. This channel, I like to teach those that really don't know a lot about computers. And I feel like teaching them something so simple to create a shortcut to do something so simple, so simple kind of helps them kind of learn how the back end of Windows works. And that's really all this is here is when they click shut down or restart here. That's just a shortcut, really. So I'm going to show you how to create one for the desktop. So that's why I do that. And I just think it's kind of fun to mess with computers and just make them work in different ways. So anyway, guys, let's get started. So to create these shortcuts, we're going to right click on the desktop. We're going to go to new and shortcut. And from here, we're going to type shut down. And then we're going to do a, sla a space slash S space slash T and then space zero. Make sure that is a zero, not an O. And let me break this command down for you. Shutdown is obvious, kind of. The slash S, what we call a flag, the slash S flag tells the system this is going to be a shutdown command. The slash T tells this there's a time delay that you want to set, and that zero is for zero seconds on a time delay which means this command here is going to shut down right away with no time delay. Um, I will kind of explain the little thing further because again, you would think that this right here means shut down, but this is only kind of part of it. This right here, this first flag is actually what's gonna give the command the instruction on what to do. So right here, we were telling it to shut down with zero time delay. Let's hit next on that. And for as far as giving your shortcut a name, you can leave it shut down or you can change it to whatever you want. You can name it to power off or do whatever you want here. Um, so I'm going to leave it shut down and I'm going to click finish. Now it's that simple. Now if I were to double click this, which I'm not going to do because I don't want my system to shut down, my system would shut down. Um, it is the same as click and start power and shut down. That command that we just created is what is the coding behind this shutdown button. It's, it's the same exact thing. Um, so now let me show you how to do one to restart. And it's pretty much exactly the same. Right click, new shortcut. And then we are going to do the same thing here. Shut down. But this time we're going to do a space slash R. And that is a flag for restarting. And then we could do a space slash T for time delay. And then we can do a zero here also, not an O. Now, if you wanted your system to restart in say 60 seconds, uh, from you double clicking your shutdown icon, you could type 60 here or whatever you wanted to, but that all goes in seconds. Um, so I'm going to keep it at zero because I want it to restart right away. And again, remember our flag. Click next. Uh, we're going to just name this one restart. And then we're going to click finish. And so now you've got two here. You double click this icon, it will shut down. You double click this icon, it will restart. Let me show you how to change these icons though because they're quite ugly. Um, if you right click this and you find properties, there is a change icon under the shortcut tab here. Click that. When you get this pop up, just hit OK. And it will give you a list of icons which are pulled from this path. Uh, so let's see. That was the shutdown. This one actually looks like a power button. Let's choose that. Hit OK. And hit apply and OK. We change the icon on that one. Change the one on restart as well. Properties. Change icon, hit OK. Uh, what can I use for restart here? 
let's just say I got some little arrows here recycling themselves. So maybe that one and apply. And so there are your icons. Now you can even go a further step and just say, hey, I want to drag this down here. And I want to drag this down here. And so now to shut down or restart your computer, you don't need to click here, here, and go to one of these. You can simply just click one of these, shut down and restart. They do the same thing. Now, let me show you a bonus tip here. If we are doing, aside from shut down and restart, if we're going to do a new shortcut, we can do the same thing here. We can call it shut down and then we can do a space slash h space slash t space zero and the h is for hibernate so if you want a shortcut to put your system into hibernation mode you can definitely do that and another bonus tip here for you i'm not going to create these i'm just telling you about them if you were to instead of the h put an l and that is for logout. And so you could create a two separate icons to put your system into hibernate or just to log out of the current Windows session. Completely different than restarting and shutting down. Anyway, guys, that is all I have to show you today. Just a couple simple commands, fun commands to do things a little bit differently. If this helped you out, if it was something that you didn't know that uh, you think is kind of cool, go ahead and click that like button for me. And consider subscribing if you're not. I would appreciate it. Thanks.